Hello booktube and welcome to my channel, Sister Harlem's Library. Today I'm going to be doing the booktube newbie tag. My name is Adrian. Let's get to the questions. Okay, so the first one is, why did you decide to start your channel? Well, I decided to start my channel um, I was thinking about it since February of 2022 and started discussing it with my father. And um, my father was like, you can do this. You read all these books. You, you can do this. I believe in you. You could do this. You could do this. And then I met some people virtually in the BookTube community who gently pushed and strongly pushed me to begin channel. So special shout out to Brandy from Brandy Sh from Books with Brandy Shanae and also Brie from Brie Cherie Reads. So there are others, but those two are the main ones. So I'd like to give a special shout out to them. Okay, question number two. Who is or are your favorite authors? So I'm going to list two. So N.K. Jemison, the GOAT in fantasy, just the GOAT, period. And then um, I'm always going to talk about Leslie, L.A. Banks, um, who wrote the Vampire Huntress Legend series and also a werewolf series, and then she started another series before she died and I did know her personally just to be frank <laughs> I did know her personally but I loved her books question number three what genres do you read so pretty much I want to say I read almost anything so I read um, sci-fi fantasy I also read um, romance and erotica within the romance genre. Um, nonfiction, I am reading a lot more of, and that's one of my goals for 2023, is to read a lot more in nonfiction. Um, but lately I've been reading quite a few memoirs, and so I want to continue to do that. Um, so that, those are what I read. So the fourth one is, how do you read? So I read via ebook, audiobooks, and physical. And quite a few times I do blended reads, which means for me, I do the audiobook and the physical book because I also like to annotate. Now, when I say I annotate, I would say I'm a newbie with the annotations because I've only written in two books. I'm not that crazy about writing in books yet. It takes me back to college days, not ready for that. <laughs> so what I do is that I just um, have my system, depending on the book, of the colors of um, what my feelings are towards the lines that I read. And then I put those, um, tab those colors according to... Um, the feelings that I have in those books. But I find that I do it mostly in the fantasy books, not in my romance books at all, but definitely in my fantasy. Because um, sometimes with the fantasy, there's a lot to unpack there. So I have to go back and be like, hmm, that is the way I felt about that particular line. So that's why I tend to tab those up more so than any other genre. Number five, what are some unique qualities that you think that you will bring to BookTube? So I am a black woman of a certain age. And so I believe that that experience um, will continue to guide me as a content creator on YouTube. So I will bring that, not just to my videos on the channel, but whenever you see me do 
my own lives or when I'm on a live with someone else. That will come from that perspective. Number six, where do you read? So I'm currently sitting at my desk. That's mainly where I read. Um, currently looking for a nice comfortable chair that I can use to put my feet up and um, read. So I'm going to be, I'm still looking for that. I haven't quite found one yet, but if you know of any, please put it in the comments and I'll look them up. Thank you very much. Number seven, what books or series um, have, uh, what is this? So what books or series have solidified your love of reading? So there are a few. So let me just say, um, when I was in college, um, Alice Walker, The Color Purple, had to read it for school, but it really got to me. Um, then Toni Morrison's Song of Solomon, loved that book. Didn't really get into some of her other books, but Song of Solomon, for some reason, really resonated with me, especially at the time. So I might read it again later um, to see whether or not I still have the same feelings that I did before, because it's been quite a while. Um, and then I'm going to name one author that I no longer read, um, and that is James Patterson. Um, his Alex Cross series is a series that um, I was introduced to um, again during my college days um, from my Aunt Grace and it's a series that she and I would talk about for a long time so it was a great way for us to bond and um, I really enjoyed the series. I didn't read all of the books but I read a large portion of those books. Um, Laurel K. Hamilton um, who does that Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series Again, I have not read all of the series, but I read a large portion of the um, series and enjoyed enjoyed it. And um, of course, Leslie L.A. Banks. Um, so I, um, you know, her name is her name was Leslie East L. Banks, known as um, L.A. Banks, but she. Leslie wrote several different types of books, but she is definitely known as the creator of the Vampire Huntress Legends series. And I loved that series. I still remember walking into the human bookstore in Harlem and speaking to the owner Marva and she watching me looking for something and asking me, what are you looking for? And I said to her, um, you know, I really have not really found a vampire book that I like, and I really do enjoy reading um, Anne Rice's series with Lestat, and um, was wondering if you know of anything like that, and she said, I have the perfect book for you. She said, the book is um, by a author who usually writes romance, and this is her first foray into this genre and she's going to be here in two weeks and I said oh okay she said and she lives in Philadelphia and I said oh okay and she showed me the book I bought the book and I finished it before <laughs> she had the book signing and I was hooked from that from that point um I know there were some people who for the first book um said that didn't you know resonate with them but i'm going to remind you as someone who knew leslie well that the first and the second books were actually one book when she gave it to the publisher and the editor um cut it and made it into two books so it became minion and then the second one was um the awakening so um, just keep that in mind. So if you find that, you, and this is a this is a plug. If you find that you weren't too crazy about the first book, I would implore you to go into the second book 
and it just might change your mind because I've even checked Goodreads and see, seen that there are a lot more um, people that like the second book than the first book. So, but you know, I like all of them, <laughs> love all of them actually. But um, that's another goal that I'll talk about in another, um, another video about that. All right. And then the last one is, what is the most recent book that fundamentally changed you? So I don't think I've read a book that has fundamentally changed me, but there is a memoir that I just cannot get out of my mind. I think about it a lot and I finished it in December. Now I finished a good one in January of 2023 but the one that i finished in december which became my number one book out of my top 20 for 2022 is finding me by viola davis and you might have heard some other people talk about it but when i tell you my first thought when i finished it was this book needs to be taught in schools now, when I say in schools, I'm meaning junior, senior year of high school and up um, in terms of letting young people know that they could become anyone because she really did have a rough upbringing and she did not allow that to stop her from obtaining the goals that she wanted to reach. And so I implore anyone who is watching this video make sure that you go and you get that book i listened to it via audiobook and yes she is the narrator excellent but i'm going to buy the book so i can annotate it it was so so good and that's why it was number one it beat out all of my fiction books it's a book that i think about at least once a week it was that good it was really good. And it is nominated for a Grammy. And do you all know that if she wins it, then she becomes the next person to get the EGOT? Yes! I am definitely going to be pulling for her. Okay, so I thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And I ask you to hit that like button down here. And um, I will be with you all again shortly. Thank you. Bye-bye.